that a couple maps from a couple old Call of Duties are returning for COD 2020. So, rumor, fan favorite maps to be included in COD 2020. According to a new re rumor from another leaker whose original Twitter account was suspended, <laughs> and he's now on a secondary Twitter, don't need all these details, there is a rumor of some leaks. Here are the names of those maps that are going to hopefully appear in COD 2020. Nuketown, Jungle, Summit, and Firing Range are already remastered maps coming to Black Ops, the new Black Ops. Should have just remastered the original at this rate. <laughs> so that's an interesting take. But first of all, Tanner, Nuketown, Jungle, Summit, and Firing Range. Give me your opinion on each of these maps and, and how you feel if these maps were to return for COD 2020. Nuketown, a top two map all time in Call of Duty. Absolutely fantastic. Jungle, uh, top 10 map for me in all of Call of Duty. Another fantastic map. Okay, okay. Uh, which would not have worked in this game. I know True. it's a... True. Infinity Ward game. Imagine the visibility on that map in this game. Holy shit. Firing range, fan-fucking-tastic as well. That's probably a top five for me as well. And Summit, Summit's just whatever. Um, it, it definitely works out. Summit is still better than 90% of Modern Warfare maps, so I'm okay with it. I'm very excited to see that, especially if the game has Nuketown. I'm not kidding. You can have Nuketown 24-7 for the entire life life cycle of the game and i would play that every single time absolutely i don't need another map truthfully Absolutely. i don't get bored of that map yeah so okay i'm gonna give you guys a hot take warning and i'm gonna do my hot take in about two minutes after i evaluate these maps so first for the not hot take nuketown like tanner said one of the best first person shooter maps of all time Certainly one of the best Call of Duty maps of all time. Have it in every Call of Duty game, yeah? Fantastic. If this comes back, I'm fucking thrilled about it. Jungle, I really like that map. I wouldn't... I'm not sure I would put it in my top 10. I would have to sit down and construct a list of my all-time favorite Call of Duty maps. But Jungle is above average. It's not an average map for me. It's a good map. So that's good. Summit, I feel about the same way. Excuse me. I feel about the same way about. It's above average, but it's not top 10 for me. Summit definitely isn't. Uh, firing Range is my number one favorite Call of Duty map of all time. I think it is the best Call of Duty map that's ever existed. It is the perfect size. It has everything. So if you want to snipe, there are long sight lines to snipe on. If you want to use a sub, you can easily navigate the map to use a sub. If you want to use an AR, there are middle distances all over the place. There are two uh, two-story buildings, and that's it. And there's one third-story tower that's very difficult to get to but can be strong. It is, it is the perfect map. So firing range is... I, I mean, I'm absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled at this suite of maps. Hopefully coming back for Black Ops 2020. Here's the hot take. If Call of Duty never made another map again, I would be... I, I would prefer that to them trying to make new maps. I would prefer it. We don't need new Call of Duty maps. We don't need them. You have... Such a library of just deep cuts. Just deep <laughs> cuts, dude. That we could just keep remastering maps and releasing them with new titles. And the only thing we need to change is update the graphics, change up the weapons, change up the perks, uh, the graphics, add new mechanics, um, such as sliding, mounting, add some other shit like that. You can change everything else. Don't change the maps ever again. And I would be happy. 
I mean, imagine if COD 2020 was only the best 25 Call of Duty multiplayer maps of all time. Imagine how fun, how much fun you would have queuing for sixes if the maps you could possibly get were Nuketown, Firing Range, Raid, fucking Favela, Crash, like just only bangers, dude. Bangers. Deep cuts. That game would be so much better than any new dog shit map that these teams are going to make. We have enough deep cuts. Do you... And some... I'm in the minority here, which is shocking to me. A lot of people complain that that absolutely goaded old maps are returning to the game. Uh, they say, oh, well, I want new content. Stop fucking remastering maps, dude. We, we want something fresh and new. What is your opinion on this, Tanner? I'm genuinely curious. I don't know where you stand. It's a tough one for me. I'm completely okay with them remastering maps, but I also want good new maps added. Like, I was very excited when they added Crash into this game. Um, then I played it and I hated it, but it's at the point now where I really like Crash in this game again, and I'm completely fine with it. Yeah. So, if they do it correctly, if they don't change anything and really just remaster it, um, I love it. I'm a big fan of those old maps, but also give us new maps that are good. Like, uh, I disagree. That's where I disagree shit. with you. What's that? What's that new map? That was a three lane, the, the really long one on this game. Candor hideout. Candor hideout. Yeah. That's a fantastic new map. True. So I want to mix. True. But I would really probably rather have new maps that are good. If I had to choose one, I would rather have new maps that are really fun. Because we'll make new memories on those fun maps instead of just the old ones that we've been playing for years now. And we know we're good, but, you know, we need something new sometimes. Yeah. Well, okay. So agree to disagree with you there. High Rise, another banger. Grind, another banger. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there's so many deep cuts, dude. It, it, it's like... It's like if you go to a Metallica concert, for you Metallica fans out there, would you rather than play fucking Death Magnetic or whatever the fuck their new album is called? Or would you rather them have a set list that was Master of Puppets, Fade to Black, Whiplash, For Whom the Bell Tolls? Just deep cuts, dude. I don't care about your new songs. You guys fucking suck now. You can't, you can't be trusted to make good new maps. And your hit rate, at least for Infinity Ward, is literally 2 out of, what, 15? Just give me, give me old maps. Sawmill is pretty good. Sawmill is middling. It's fine. It's not great. Kandor is great. Uh, Shoothouse is great. That's it. Those are the only original Modern Warfare maps that are, that are great, in my opinion. Uh, and Shoothouse is actually growing less and less on me. Because Junkyard, it shouldn't be on that map. It's way too overpowered of, a, of an area. So, agree to disagree. But nonetheless, uh, Summit, Jungle, Nuketown, and Firing Range is all good news for me. And I'm fucking thrilled to hear it.